New England Living is brought to you by Clark Sub-Zero and Wolf and Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. And of course, please stop into the all new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston. You remember Rich? Rich, hi. <laughs> now, are these recipes that you do uh, at Legal, or are we making it up just for tonight? We're gonna make it up for tonight. Nice. So the first one is the uh, avocado toast. So what, what we'll do here is just kind of cut this open. Yeah. Scoop right around it. And when it yields to gentle pressure, it comes right out Beautiful. like that. Beautiful. I am going to cut some, and I'm gonna have you mash a little. That sounds good. We'll add a little bit of the scallion. So we're gonna build like a guacamole. And now here's another thing that we're doing is that we are going to add a serrano pepper. This is roasted. Now you can roast this on the grill, oh, or you can put it right on top of the gas stove. Okay. We're also going to add limes. So a little lime juice. Right. And what else we're gonna fold in is the corn. And let me show you what I'm gonna do with this, this uh, piece thing? of bread. Uh, half. Perfect. So what we do here is that we have a garlic clove okay. and toast, and I just want to rub it on just lightly, not too, too much, but mm. just lightly. Chop up a little bit of tomato. This is looking good already. Right. That looks so good. So then I would like to put a little bit of corn on there. Like a hint of what's just hidden underneath. And then a little bit of uh, tomato, and then um, this is really the, the Piece part of the that, resistance. Yes, exactly. I know that's this what is, you're looking for. This is Jonah crab. Um, it's fresh. It's mm. just wonderful. It goes well with is avocado. It from Maine? It's from Maine, up and down the East Coast, really. Mm. So I like to cut it lengthwise. Just for the presentation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you hear that crunch? So yes, I do. Really a nice little crunch. Mm -hmm. Well, that's really good. You don't serve this at the restaurant? Mm -hmm, you should. We will. Mm -hmm, we will. <laughs> we will. And so what are we doing next? We are going to make a watermelon and tomato uh, gazpacho mm -hmm. with our uh, world famous shrimp cocktail. Oh, delicious. So it's basically everyone in the pool. Yep. And okay. we cut things up. And so what we're going to start with is the watermelon, yep. tomatoes, some shallot. Mm -hmm and then smoked paprika. This mm -hmm. is sherry vinegar. All of it, put some of it. Salt, mm -hmm. olive oil. Mm. Smoky. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. It's refreshing. Not too heavy on anything, it's perfect. Light. Mm. Okay, it's scallops. Yes. Ceviche. Ceviche. So the interesting thing with, with ceviche is I think there's a little misnomer. People feel like the lime juice is what's cooking, and it can cook the ceviche, but the reality is the purest ceviche is done by salting. So you salt the scallops, or you salt the fish that you're going to be using, and that cures it. Cut up these scallops into bite-sized pieces. Okay. It's kind of a quarter. Or... Yeah, just a bite size. So essentially, that's what I did right here. And this already has the salt on it. Already was salted. Mm -hmm. um, and so how long do you let that sit where it starts to? You can let it sit for about 30 minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So why, why don't we start with a, um, a little bit of that lime juice. I squeeze some lime juice, mm -hmm. fresh. I'm going to add in some of the ahi pepper. Now, where can you find that? Is that at a regular grocery store, or do you um, have to have a no. specialty shop? Usually a specialty shop. <laughs> and I'll add a little bit of onion. I want to add a little bit of pepper. Now you can use regular green pepper, you can use jalapenos, you can use serranos. So we'll add this to our scallops. And see that beautiful yellow? Oh, yeah. It's almost like saffron in it. Mm -hmm. This permeates into it. Oh. I'm going to put a little spritz of oil. Okay. That looks so pretty in that shell Isn't too. That pretty? Mm -hmm. Crunchy, fresh, mm -hmm. light, clean protein. Mm. Taste of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, keep little going. Heat. Keep going. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. That little plantain on yeah, the top, which nice is a little, bit of, a little bit of sweetness right. underneath that. Delicious. Okay, so while the chef and the rest of the crew are getting the rest of the dinner ready, I am privileged to say that I'm here with Sandy Block, and he is a master of wine, one of the many talented people here at Legal Seafoods. He has uh, uh, picked out a champagne for the Pastor d'oeuvres. This is a Brutnog vintage champagne. So this one's aged for about three years. Inside the bottle, there are 
uh, t six atmospheres of pressure, so as much pressure as there is in your car tire. So it's you got to be careful opening a bottle of right. champagne. Just let it ease out like that. Yeah. You don't want a large pop, and it doesn't foam over. Right. right now, the celebratory part, people think you know half the bottle should be gone, spilling over the edges. No, but, no. But really, you don't want to no, do that. No, no. Not with a nice champagne. That's a myth uh, propelled by the champagne companies that they want to sell more champagne. Oh, there you go. Now you have to buy two bottles. Right. And so, what should I be looking for in this and when I'm when I'm tasting it? What should I be What should I be thinking about? You should be thinking about um, what do you like the way it tastes. <laughs> Cheers. You like it? <laughs> I do. <laughs> this is something that everybody loves. It's one of the most versatile wines I've ever seen. It's called Moscato d'Asti Nivole. We're going to be pairing it up with desserts, and it goes beautifully with dessert or as dessert. But it can also work extremely well as an aperitif. This is good for brunch, good for breakfast, uh, anytime you want to have this. So, cheers. It's so funny. As the sun sets here in the Seaport District and we are on a beautiful roof deck, we celebrate great friends, a beautiful couple, a beautiful home, delicious food. Just a beautiful night from Seaport. Until next week, I'm Parker Kelly. Cheers. Cheers. New England Living is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero and Wolf and Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. And of course, please stop into the all new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston.